what the heck am I doing now? I'm gonna show you what I purchased today shopping because it's a haul and people love hauls. So what did I buy? All right, tomorrow is Amy's birthday. So Carolyn and I bought all of these fancy cakes. And so our idea is we're gonna put them all together and make a cape cape cake shape. And then we're going to, we got the frosting, we'll frost all the way around it and decorate it. And then we have, we got the happy birthday candles and we got this plate and we bought ice cream. So we're gonna do that for Amy tomorrow. And I got her a birthday present. So I'll show you the birthday present. So this sack is Amy's birthday. So you don't wanna lose it or get it mixed up. Okay. Then we went to Ross again. So this is my Ross bag. I bought, they have bread, the Hawaiian bread. I don't know how much it was. I got all my receipts here though. So you gotta save them. I got this at Ross because if you know my house, it has this same travertine um, a stone and this will match my fireplace so good it's heavier than heck and it's not made in China it's made in India it is travertine by nature has voids that occur naturally in the stone and it is to be expected and in our part of the country we have travertine each piece is unique and different and so this will match and I paid $12.99. If you bought this in one of those fossil stores or something, it'd be $100, I'm sure. Not really. All right. And so what I really went to Ross for was to get another one of those bras that I just love. So, and I got this for my great grandbaby, little granddaughter, and it says, I love my mommy. And it has little kitties on it and there's pink ones. And it was a whole outfit for $3 reduced, $3.49. So I'll give that to her when I get home. And then I got this made in India to put beside my bed. I mean, beside my table I always sit at. It has these hooks. So I can just hang it and it's heavy base. So it won't tip over like that other thing I have. Hang my bracelets on it, my earrings, my necklaces. Has a little mirror, worthless mirror at the top. And it was $11.99. I needed that. And then I got a basic black dress, but it is the most wonderful fabric. And it's the long sleeves, which my other ones don't have long sleeves. And it is the perfect length right below the knee. And it's not a choking, it's a nice V-neck. I could just take this on the cruise, wear something sparkly over it for the night, wear it as a day dress with a jacket. It's the all perfect basic black. I know you're gonna love it. And this, Hopefully Trevor's not watching. Remember my son Trevor has told us his classroom, his school has the motto, be kind. So I got this cause you know, he's feeding our fish while we're gone. And it was only $2.99. He can paint it happy colors if he wants to have his wife paint it or something. For his classroom, be kind. It's the perfect thing. So I'll take that back to him. And this, don't tell him. This is what I got for Jamie for Father's Day or maybe our anniversary or something. But he has a big one like this. This matches his perfect for a baby to go with the big one, $7.99. I don't know what kind of cat leopard it is or something. 
don't tell him. And then I got this. What is it? Oh. These are Oops um, All Monroca. But I'll save it till I get home. And then this. Beautiful. When I buy a candle, I want to buy one that when the candle's all burned up, you have a nice product. So, you know, some of those jars you just throw away. $4.99. Smells really nice. I don't know what the smell is. But I got this because when this candle's gone, I will have a very nice, my favorite color dish. I'm surprised they splurged to wrap it up because, you know, you got to buy your sacks. Don't give you a sack nowadays. And I don't have very many of these because we're not coffee drinkers. But I am a hot chocolate drinker. This, your hand, look at how the fingers fit all in the handle. I hate those cups where your fingers don't all fit in and you have to kind of go like this. I want one like this. And it was $2.99. And it will make me feel gold. Like a golden girl. Clean. Okay. They didn't put very much. I want to repack this with stuff. And stuff. It's going to break. So, I can put this back. I know. I'll wrap this around it. I can put this all back in underneath. But I want to wrap it good. I don't want my stuff to break. Okay. Stuff I don't need. And I bought this. We're going to go try it tonight. Because I watch Survivor shows. And they like get a palm. And they chop it down. It takes them forever to get the palm. This is Hearts of Palm. So we're all going to go try it. And see if we like Hearts of Palm gonna be good. I don't can't imagine what it tastes like. I never had any recipes that you use hearts of palm. Then I went to grocery outlet. Wheat thins. Look at this huge box for like less than four dollars. It's like two bags in one. And Jamie loves his cashews. So I bought those for him. I love my mustard. Look at these fun things. Hot pink frosting, 99 cents. With the sprinkles on top, sugar. So, they were only 99 cents. So, I got three of them because I know my granddaughters are going to love making a cake with these. And then I got these for my other little granddaughters. They're Barbie gummy bears. Now, they're gummy gummy Barbies, Barbie heads. I don't know what they are. Barbie gummies. And they were 99 cents each. So I got these to take back to the girls. And then I got these all different flavors. And this will be for the ride home. And then uh, Jamie wanted lunch meat for sandwiches. So I got him the ham and then this kind of ham. I need to put them in the fridge. He loves graham crackers and milk, dipped in milk. So I got him that. Because I always love to have a special treat for him at night. And he loves the cupcakes. So I got that for him for breakfast. And then this was my favorite, my treat. I love the wine salami. And I love pistachios. You can eat out on the deck and throw the shells over. That'll be fun. Hair dye. Because it's my favorite kind and it was only $2.99. Then I got this. Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen for your face. Because in the summertime, I'm out in my pond a lot. I like to put the sunscreen on every morning first and then my makeup over it. So, put that on my bed. 
and then uh, beef sticks for the ride home. And then, not done yet, okay, because, ooh, ooh, ooh. I gotta put these in the fridge, in the fridge, somewhere else and somewhere else. Because I put, I thought I put another sack down here somewhere. I'll wait when I'm off camera and do it. All right, so then I got this. It's heavy. Isn't it cute? Two little birds, $12.99. Because we have a bird bath thing. And the top broke off. But we still have the pedestal that's cement. And I'm thinking Jamie could use some of his cement uh, glue and glue this on top of the pedestal for a new bird bath. For the hummingbirds because they love it i don't know if they love it or not so i got this and it's heavy it must be made out of some kind of cement and then i got amy a birthday present for tomorrow too so i got this bag and it came with the card I'm not going to publish this till tomorrow, so she won't, she'll already have the stuff, so don't worry. So they gave you a piece of tissue paper. I needed that. And I'll sign the card later. She saw the bag, but I, I hope she doesn't get it. And then, you know, she has her blue tablecloth for the nautical look in her house. And she has the blue tablecloth, those blue vases. So, I got this to put on our table to go there and to match her blue table scene. And they, she can put her letters in it or something. And it's not made in China. I'll tell you where it was made. It was made in India. Crafted in India. So. It was $11.99. It had been $25. So I'm hoping that she'll love it for her table. I'm going to leave the price on it. If she doesn't like it, she can take it back and get something different. Because I don't, you know. Maybe she doesn't want another knickknack around the house. So, here it is, her present, and then the card. Yay! Let's see what the card says. So this was two ninety nine. So it's like a dollar, a dollar, a dollar. All right, a dollar fifty, a dollar fifty, and free. Okay. Well, I didn't want to go to another store, so I just had to buy what Ross had by the cash register, because I didn't want to go walking back through the store because I was already paying. I have a garbage right here. All right, it says, yay. Inside, best day ever. I'll have everybody sign it. That's what we'll do. I'll pass it around. Her daughter's here and son-in-law and the two grandkids for her birthday. I should put something else in there. Candy or something. Oh, well. And then, so here's my receipts. And then we went for pizza, Domino's, because we didn't want to cook. And we didn't want Amy to have to cook. I spent $83 at Grocery Outlet. I spent $105 at Ross this time. Sorry, I'm just looking at what I bought that came up to that much. It's all right. Okay, and then I spent for the pizza... $27. Amy bought a pizza too, and I bought one, so that was good for dinner. And then that's my receipt. So I will fetch these out and do them. And so in the morning, Carolyn and I will make the cake, for me, and I'll show it to you. And then we're going to have our little birthday party. And we bought ice cream two of the ice creams. 
So we'll serve those too. So it's going to be fun. We're going to have a party. And I might film it. I might not. Alrighty. I got to put this stuff in the fridge. Hope there's room. But when you buy this stuff, you get a really good Tupperware container. And it's nice. I'm sure it won't last forever, but nothing does, right? Okay. Jamie has a gallon of milk in here. His cheese. Hope it'll all fit. This refrigerator is pretty good. And it keeps the cold and even ice, which to me is unusual. Because usually refrigerators like this don't work, but this one does. I know I brought my drink in. Here it is. So we are just having the best fun ever. And it's just such a vacation that I don't want to leave. But we are going to leave tomorrow, which is Saturday. Which, when you watch this, it will be today. And drive down the coast. So I'll make a video. Now the pretty coast drive from here down is beautiful. Once you get past... Charleston and when uh, yeah Charleston then and I'm so I'm going to show you where Hillary was born on Cape Sebastian on Herman Road right by Highway 101 on Highway 101 David saves these I gotta save it for him and so I'll show you where she was born and then we're going to go to the cemetery where we buried my little baby boy and I always go, I got to go and get some flowers and take there. Last time we went, the flowers were there still from the year before. Of course, artificial. So I always go pay tribute to him, even though I know he's not there. He is in, with Jesus in heaven. So as my guardian angel. So I know he's not there, but it's out of respect, right? And to pay tribute. So, we're going to stop by his grave. He has an ocean view. It's beautiful there. And then, um, we'll drive down the coast through Gold Beach. He's buried in Gold Beach. And go to Brookings with Carolyn and Rob. And then, we are going to go see the Redwoods when we leave there. And we're going to go see um, lots of things. So, stay tuned and follow my trip. We're not over yet. I think we'll probably leave Monday morning to go back home and we take two days. So Monday night, spend the night, we'll get home Tuesday. And then our life, our spring life begins. Hopefully the snow has melted. It won't be all melted, I don't think. I hope, but I doubt it. But we'll get to um, start our spring activities. I'm going to film Jamie planting his little seedlings in his greenhouse. And I will film... Um, what else are we going to do in the spring? I don't think the pond... When the pond out front thaws out, I will be putting the fish out there. And I'll film that because he, will lo he loves you know, his fish. He's not child abuse. I mean, not <laughs> animal abuse because, oh, and we have to go stop at some fish stores along the home to see if he can, I think I got a little pink. It feels a little pink on me. And then we will, um, back at home, I don't think we can get up at the treehouse yet. It's still too muddy, but we're going to go visit the treehouse. We'll do that several times. It was so funny in the wintertime. Here's a story for you. In the wintertime, Credence, he's seven. And when it started winter and stuff, and, and when he used to come to my house in the summer, we'd always go up to the treehouse and we would uh, cook hot dogs or, you know, cook hot chocolate or even top ramen on the heat water and make it, whatever was food was up there. And he loves it up there. Well, when it was in the winter, then he goes, how come we never go to the treehouse anymore? <laughs> I had to laugh because we can't get there. We need a, we do have a snowmobile, but Jamie lifts all the boards around the treehouse so that the snow load won't be too heavy up there. So he raises them all. So there's not a deck around the treehouse. It's kind of dangerous. 
So, but it's too muddy. If you try to drive a car up there when the snow's melting, it's so muddy, it, it will, you'll get stuck in the mud. It will be horrible. So we will wait until it's good to go up there. And he has the floorboards down again. And then he has to finish his shed he's building up there. And I'll film that too. He had to build it because he sold his to his son the shed that he had down below. His son bought that property from him for 22000 for two acres. It was a very good deal. Don't worry. Anyway, so we lost the shed that we parked the tractor and everything in. So Jamie's building another one that's kind of like a garden shed, but he's going to have the two. It's like this. And then he's going to have the two off sides to put the machine, the tractor, or the, I don't know what all, alongside them. We have a horse trailer, the trailers on each side. So he has to finish it this year because he didn't finish it in the, the spring last year. No, it was the fall. Oh, I should have done that because everything fell out. Stay in there. Stay in there. Stay in there. Okay, so I have future plans. People say, well, after your trip's over, what are you going to film? Oh, we have a lot to film. We have so much spring work to do when we get back after the snow melts. We got to clean up everything. We have to power wash things. He has a big uh, power washer, so we have to power wash a lot of things. And the pond has to be power washed, and then we have to paint it. And I'm right down in there painting, so we'll be recording it, all of that process, and then filling it. And usually, if we're on vacation in uh, June, when school gets out, then we wait till we get back to fill it. But this year, we're not going anywhere. We did our vacation. And we don't have a cruise in June to go to. So we will just fill the pond. And it fills overnight. But you'll begin the beauty of the yard. And we'll get home to see how much tulips and daffodils are blooming. And it's beautiful there. So exciting things are coming in the future. Seasonal excitement. Which is fun. All right. That's my haul for today which is really tomorrow.